Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, I'm a geek, you're watching Kevin the Good. We're back for Benidorm, Series 5, Episode 5. Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, smash the like button, and of course, drop your comments down below. What we're getting up today in paradise. Hopefully not a death. Hey. If you didn't see him, check out my reactions to Death in Paradise. It's a great show. Love it. Funny things, tolls, when you think about it, aren't they? And the moment is ruined. I mean, you've got ten of them, like little fingers. You can't do anything with them, can you? Mm. There was a fella in Ireland did paintings with his. He won an Oscar for it. I don't think I could paint a picture with my feet, do you, Mick? Mm. Like ten little sausages. <laughs> Imagine if they were all joined together, they'd be like two big chops. <laughs> Is that why they call them plates of meat? Is it, Mick? It's rhyming slang. What? Plates of meat, feet. Oh, yeah. Rhyming slang. Do you know any more? Yeah, shut the book up. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Well, we can sit here in silence all morning if that's what you want. Oh, finally. <clears throat> Jan. Janice, I'm sorry, all right? Oh. Fly in his face. It's just, I've had a lot of stress with the sunbed shop burning <clears throat> down and everything, and this is me one chance to relax before it all kicks off again. Janice. Come on, tell me about your toes. Well, I was just saying, imagine if all your toes were fused together. Oh, for Christ's sake. You asked me to... T Oh God, mother! Oh my God! It's a tandem so scooter. Be going home today. He was. I think my mother's taking a shine to him. Uh oh. Like them older women that go out with younger men. <laughs> Cougar. Cougar. Hey. Cougar. More like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Cougar. Oh. How do I clean in? That's clever. Oh, oh pluck. Very <laughs> nice. Oh, excuse me, love. Could you tell me where the Solana is, please? <laughs> You're so funny. Somebody's in a good mood. <laughs> What's the occasion? A boots doing a three for two on frosted peach lipstick. We've had the most fabulous bit of news. <gasps> You're being transferred to Falaraki. <laughs> no, cheeky. Mm. A contact of mine now works for the British Olympic Association. There's a swimming event in Valencia tomorrow. Guess where Team GB is staying? Not here. They're putting in a display in our pool tonight. <gasps> so exciting. The great and good of Benidorm High Society are attending the gala tonight, including the deputy mayor. Synchronised swimming. Oh, oh nice. A load of teens with pegs on their noses splashing about in the shallow end. No thanks. <laughs> There's a lot of work going into them routines, Kenneth. You'll mark my words. I mean, from the waist up, it's all grace and elegance, but down below, they're thrashing a boat like a bag of cats in a canal, man. <laughs> I say, that's a nifty looking set of wheels, Madge. A tandoori tandem. Only one in Benidorm. We wanted to have a stroll on the promenade, so I hired it for the day. This is Mr. Mohammed. He was a friend of Mel's from Morocco. A Donald and Jacqueline Stewart. Good to know you. It's her theme. Masalama. Ah, you speak Arabic. Donald spent a bit of time in Tangiers last year on a, well, let's say, um, canoeing expedition. <laughs> <laughs> you did there, didn't you? From your accent, I'd say you came from the southwest of the country. I live in Marrakesh, but my family's from Casablanca. Ah, who loves you, baby? Ah, he's looking at you, kid. Oh, stop it! Only slay you flirt with anyone. I'll see you later. Bye. Alurid de Jaja Alela. What's he say? 
translates as, I feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> does a mucky Arab. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Pack your stuff up, Queen, because we are going on a trip. How do you mean? I've booked us on a booze cruise. Oh! Booze cruise. booze cruise! Booze cruise! Booze cruise! We drop the anchor, you get wankered. Nice. So. Oh, come on, Sam. It'll be fun. You know, I woke up this morning wondering if the brick rat market was on. So? <laughs> I'm starting to think like an old person. It's like a little one yeah, with them rollers in. For a bit. I've just been playing Shag, Mary Kill around the pool and I'm currently serving 27 life sentences for <laughs> murder. <laughs> exactly. It comes to something when the nearest thing to eye candy is Brill Cream Billy over there. Nay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, behave. He's like a shave power then. <laughs> What about Liam? He's young. What? Little Ron Weasley. <laughs> you fancy him, don't you? Get lost! Natalie thought he was cute, and as some mothers do have him sort of way, but... Huh. It's not my type at all. Come on, then. You can help me pick out a song and sarong combo. Oh, lovely. <laughs> ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. Stand for. Oh, it's the uh, five different continents, like. Is it? Yellow's for Australia, because it get a lot of sun. Blue's for the Antarctic, because it's so cold. Uh, Black's Africa, for obvious reasons. Uh, Asia's red, because it's full of communists. <laughs> and uh, Green's America, something to do with the dollar. What about What's Europe? You? Out? Yeah. Oh, I think uh, <clears throat> Europe might have joined quite late. Maybe it's not that then. Kenneth, what do the five different coloured rings represent? Making us 1989. Ooh, what an oldie that is. <laughs> the Olympic rings were designed in 1912 by Pierre de Coubertin, father of the modern Olympiad. De Coubertin also coined the Olympic motto, Citius, Altius, Fortius. Faster, higher, stronger. Thank you, girls. Rest easy. Bloody hell, it's the Hitler youth. Stand <laughs> up, boy, when your elders enter a room. Hazel McCafferty, could you tell the manager I wish to speak with him, please? Oh, it's a she. Would you tell the manager I wish to speak with him, please, madam? Uh, no, no, I meant the uh, manager is a she. The I am so sorry. Joyce Temple Savage, Solana manageress, you must be Hazel. That is correct. I won't touch you. I'm hypnophobic. What starage is this hotel? I beg pardon? How many stars do you have? We are what is known in the hotel industry as four star pending. So three stars. <laughs> Girls, we are leaving. Is there a problem? We are preparing for the London Olympic Games. We are not a school trip or a hen party. It is paramount that my girls have first-class accommodation and facilities, and I don't see that here in your establishment. Put the leaflet down, Hermione. Yeah, Hermione. We are to compete, not to throw ourselves down a rusty metal chute into a pool of hepatitis-filled slime. I'm sorry, we shan't. That's rude. Let's not get off on the wrong <clears throat> foot, Miss McCafferty. I have allocated your girls executive twin rooms. I have also upgraded you to the luxurious El Presidente suite. Yeah, there's a honeymoon couple just checked in. They've just cancelled. <laughs> I can also offer you a free beauty treatment at our in-house salon, where you'll be attended to by a very own Kenneth. Excuse me. I'll need exclusive use of the pool for training purposes. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Very well. Girls, check in and go to your rooms. Practice will begin at 1100 hours sharp. We'll see how we get on. Excuse me. I can assure you, Miss McCafferty, you have an excellent stay here at the salon, and your girls will be perfectly safe with us at all times. I wish to report an abduction and an attempted sexual assault. <laughs> Maybe you should go to the police for that, rather than the manager of your hotel. Hey, Norby. Just a coffee, son. Strong and black. Ah, someone has been burning the candle in both ends. Hmm. I was in town last night with Gavin, the gentleman who's here on his own, and we must have had the friendliest taxi driver in all of Benidorm. He invited us to a party with some of his friends, and we played the 
funniest game of blind man's buff. Well, this blind man buff. Well, blind you man. tie somebody up and then you try to feel one another. <laughs> but in Spain, they play it with a full leather mask on. And then to make it harder, <coughs> everybody took their clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Cream. Oh bless her, bless Noreen. Something tells me that she uh, she was a little bit kinky in her younger days. Oh, oh, oh Noreen, she's not as innocent as she looks. Mateo, I want you to help me get everyone out of the pool. Is there a problem? The swimmers are here. <clears throat> and I want to practice for tonight. Wow! 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 <laughs> wow. You... Have we kind of? Have we kind of forgotten about the the, the Troy and Mateo thing? Because like they they seem to play up a bit of a thing that like, that oh yeah Mateo might be uh, gay or bisexual or or at least a bit curious or, or whatnot, and then they've just kind of done nothing with it. So is that um, is that what they what they're doing with him? They're just just going, yeah, that was just a little thing. We're just we're forgetting about that now. We're just having him go back to being an utter perv. You sure these girls are English? Well, they're British. Why? They do not have us like jelly. Mateo, <laughs> <laughs> they're athletes, and if you can stop slavering like a dog at a barbecue, you might have the honour of seeing them in action. I am the pool. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody, get out oh, of the pool. Ladies. Quick, quick, you need to get out. Choppy, choppy. Evacuate the pool as soon as you can. Our Olympic sports women need the pool for training purposes. And I'm sure you won't mind vacating the pool for just a moment. Thanking you for your indulgence. This is Joyous Temple Savage signing out. Bloody cheek. You pay for all inclusive, then they turf you out the pool so a load of airy lesbians can swill their sweaty gussets. <laughs> They're very graceful athletes. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I could watch it all day long. Could you? So, uh, Mel was in business with your old man, was he, Mohammed? He means your father. Ah, that is correct, yes. And it's Mr. Mohammed to you. Eh? His Christian name's the same as his second name. That's what they do in Morocco, isn't it, Mohammed? Yes, but not Christian name. So what is your Christian name, then? I do not have one. So your middle name's Mohammed? It is my given name and my family name. Mohammed, Mohammed. Mohammed, Mohammed. It is my father's name and his father before that. Bloody hell. I bet it's fun handing out the presents round your house <laughs> on Christmas Day. They don't have Christmas, do they? They have, what's it? Passover. Ramadan. That's it. How would you celebrate that? From dawn to sunset for one month, we must refrain from eating, drinking, and um, sexual relations. Jesus. I couldn't go without food for a month. I've always said we could learn a thing or two from the Muslims. Have you? When have you ever said that? They look after their old people. You'd never see a Muslim grandmother left to fend for herself. They get included. You get included, ma'am. You're always coming on holiday with us. Oh, a week in Benidorm, and that's your duty done for the year. Is that what you think? I didn't say that. If we were Muslimic, you'd have me living with you in your house. Where's all this come from, Mother? You were perfectly happy last night. What's got into you? Oh, don't worry. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Come along, Mohammed. I'd like to show you the Benidorm Palace. And I can see we're not wanted here. Thank you, but first I must pray. Please, do you know which way is to Mecca? Oh, don't worry about that. They have bingo on here later. <laughs> that was an obvious joke, but, but a good one. Degrees, an Olympic pool must be heated to a minimum of 25 to 20. Yeah, degrees. but this is outside. Even colder tonight. Well, you just make them kick a bit harder, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> Watch kick, your kick, 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 Madeline. 
You need a cleaner entry, Evie. I can still see ripples. Why is she talking like that when they're in the war? They can't hear her. Hazel, I've been thinking. While we pamper you this afternoon, the girls might like to go and do a bit of sightseeing. They must be sick of being stuck in a pool hours and hours. <laughs> out of the question. I couldn't possibly let them go out in Benidorm. God knows what they might pick up. No, no. I was thinking of Calpe or Altea. Nice little Spanish towns where they won't see any trouble. Well, anything to get them out of this wretched slum, but I shall need to accompany them at all times. Oh, nonsense. You stay here and relax. I have got a member of staff who's a very able chaperone, Mateo. See. Si. Go and fetch Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mateo. They're very good, aren't they? All he wants to do is flirt with the chicas. <laughs> to see your face when I tell you this so I'm taking the coward's way out and writing it down I've been a fool and can only beg that you will will one day forgive me Yoo-hoo Anybody home? Hello Oops. I'm sorry. I just wanted to return this one to you. I'll have you know that note paper was laid ivory. It's almost one pound a sheet. Oh, heck. Oh, now please, just leave me alone. All right. Oh, oh I Noreen. I'm sorry. Oh. Don't take it out of Noreen. Booze cruise, booze cruise, booze cruise. There you go. What did I tell you? Wow. I'd almost forgotten what real men look like. <laughs> Looks like there's ten times more guys than girls in there. Off them the way. Guys, this guy's the thing. Oh, I'm going to get me in the way. Thank you, darling. Stick this wristband on you. I need things included. Nice one. Are they named spirits? Well, they've got names. You got any grey goose vodka? I've got grey squirrel. I need to have a quack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> you get what you pay for, look. Oh, yeah. What's your gin? Poor Keita. <laughs> no. But you might be after a few glasses of it. Oh, <laughs> cheeky! <laughs> Sorry, darling. 18 to 30 zone. He was. I can't let you on if you're over 30, company policy. Cheeky sod, I've got a ticket. Well, your rep should have told you it's in the small print. She is 30 anyway. <laughs> yeah, all right. I am. I've just had a hard life. What year were you born then? 1989. Biggie, you want 23. Life's not that hard, sweet. <laughs> Look, just because I'm slightly older doesn't mean I can't party down with the rest of the kids. The last tune you downloaded. It was Spandau Valley. <laughs> You're not really helping yourself, sweetheart. Oh, come on, let her on. She's always looked ten years older than she is. Thanks, Queen. All right, fine, we won't go. I mean, he's standing to talk. I mean, he, how, how old is he supposed to be? He's got to be at least like 38. At least. He's got to be in, you know, going in towards his 40s. So, so okay, and I know he, I know he only works for for, for the company or whatever. I mean that that's a crap business model, isn't it? So I'm a willing punter. I'm willing to give you money, and in reality, if I'm a bit older, likely is I probably won't quite drink as much as the youngsters. And yet you're going, no, no, no I don't want to take your money. No, thank you. You 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 go away. Bit of shit, that, innit? Thanks for nothing, mate. And if we don't get a full refund, I won't be the only one in Benidorm with a broken arm. Ignorant tosser. It's all right, Sam. You go and have a good time. I'll catch up with you later. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. See ya. Nice. Oh, no! It's Gavin Raven! Ooh! Come down! 
You're messing with synchronized women. Ah, he's not bothered, bless him. <laughs> I never had him down as a sporty type, to be honest. Did you? Well, we can't all be blessed with an athlete's physique. <laughs> you do a lot of sporting, do you? Yes, we can often be found in the weightlifting suite of the Cheese Valley gym and sauna, can't we, darling? Oh, yes. Donald wipes the floor at the over 50s clean and jerk. <laughs> and Jacqueline Snatch has to be seen to be relieved. <laughs> 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 oh my word. They come out some of the most belter one liners, don't they? I don't doubt it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Sit down, love. You'll do yourself a mischief. Why is everybody ignoring me? Am I invisible or something? Who said that? <laughs> uh, got you. This is ridiculous. There's got to be something we can do. No, he's really evolving as a character, isn't she? Hey! Ta -da! Ta -da! What was it Jean Paul Sartre said? Hell is other people. Oh, I know. Good job, it's just the two of us. <laughs> Come on, rock up. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's probably a good this person to play with. Of Calpe. Uh, this is where the local fishermen come with their fish to sell to the local restaurants here so that they can sell it to us as food. I don't know whether any of you have ever had crabs. Why is Michael with them? But these are meant to be some of the nicest ones what people have ever tasted. Michael. There are other types of seafood here. Ooh, look at the way Hermione's looking at Liam. Prawns. Maybe she fancies um, him. Little baby octopuses. I feel like they do boat trips. <laughs> uh, not quite a boat trip. It's no good. Can't think of anything to say. Oh, you're doing really well. Am I? Yeah. Oh, well, they haven't paid, have they? So what are they going to do? Ask for the money back. True. Bells? No girls! And what are you doing? This, this isn't on the itinerary. Yeah, I know, we're going off feast. Come on, it'll be a laugh. I don't know. Excuse me. Yes, mate. Do you actually go out to sea? No. No, we go inland from here up the hills. Yeah, I'll tell you. Oh, well, I don't think that'll be safe. I'm taking soon. the piss, mate. We go out by the rock, four hours all inclusive. Do you actually provide refreshments? 45 euros all in. We'll not leave thirsty, I promise you that. But there's eight of us, is that all right? Oh, oh. it's the best kind of party. Welcome aboard. There you go, sweet. Whoa! 18 to 30, son. I am 18. <laughs> Date of birth. 13 May 1972. I bet your last is a bit shit, isn't it? Michael! Oh, oh. Sorry, son. I can't, can't really leave the girls on their own. So. Will you be alright here for four hours or do you want to go back? Hey? Come on, Ed. I'll get him on the boat, don't you worry. I've got a plan. I'm not sure. Michael? Is that such a good idea? I, I forbid you. Michael. Be careful! Be careful! Wristband. Okay. Take it. Okay. Who's actually paid? They're always poking their noses in when it's not convenient, but when it could finally be of some use, they're harder to get hold of than a greased pig. Oh, that reminds me, I could ring our Jeff. But if you've had a phone all this time, why didn't you call the hotel and get them to send somebody up? I haven't got very much battery left. Uh. And besides, it costs a fortune to ring Spain on an English mobile. Butch, butch, butch. Hello, Jeff. It's me, your mother. I'm very good. How are you, son? Oh, congratulations. 
It's guess the countdown conundrum. <laughs> now, listen, I'm going to say this very quickly because I haven't got much time. I'm sitting here on a balcony with Gavin. Is one of that nice couple that helped me do YMCA at your company. <laughs> Remember? Oh, I don't know. I'll ask him. Are you the fat one or the thin one? I was formerly the fat one, but as you can see, I... Yes, the fat one. <laughs> well, anyway... Oh, Gavin. You'll never believe what happened to us last night. We sent for Be a... faster, taxi. please, Noreen. We got in. And we fastened our seat belts. I can't go any faster. I'll think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> give me that. A bit late for that. Hello? Uh, could you please... Hello? The battery's gone dead. Oh, blither. I wanted to know if Deirdre had had her highlights done. <laughs> oh! What did you do that? <laughs> Chill out, Gavin. I was just going to charge it all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! It's not normally built in these balconies. Are they leaving it a bit late to put the booze onto the boat when the people are literally on there? Said he were going to knock about with that Liam. Oh, I don't like not knowing where he is. Text him and tell him we're going up to the room. He's not even had his dinner. Oh, Jan, you've got to give him a bit of space. He's a teenager now. He won't want to be sitting with us all the time. It was exactly the same with our Chantel. One minute it was, Mummy, can you plait me hair? The next it's, can I get a tattoo? And, oh, oh, by the way, I'm pregnant. Wish I could get a tattoo. No, you can't. You'll regret it when you're older. I am older. <laughs> you never let me do anything. Oh, shut up. Come on. What's the matter? It never bloody comes. I mean, what's the matter with you? Nothing. A couple of years ago, there were seven of us on this holiday. Now, Chantel and Coolio have moved out. Mel's gone. Michael's growing up. Well, that's just life. It's not a personal vendetta against you. I know, but... I just don't know what there's left for me to do. I'm scared I'll turn into my mother. You're scared. I'm bloody petrified. <laughs> Tell him to come home. I've already done it. I do love you, Nick Garvey. Mm, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get up to the room. I'll give you some tips on how you can spend the next 25 years. Next 25 minutes, you mean? 25 minutes? It's not your bloody birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Party! 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 Um, I have a bad feeling about this. I wonder where Trudy and Michael are. Just that my girl's getting dehydrated and I, I promise to look after them. Your girl's, eh? What are you? Are you like the pimp at a taxi driver? Hey, am I going to have to go all Robert De Niro on you? Sorry, are you talking to me? Yeah, very funny. Now, don't worry, Snoop Dogg. I'll have your girls hydrated, all right? Oh, thanks. Uh, what are they? These are called leg openers. A couple of these, they'll be on the deck. Ankles in the air. Imagine you can say man the lifeboats. Well, that's perfect, because they need to keep their legs up. That's their job. Of course it is, sunshine. <laughs> of course it is. Lovely Carmen. I thought she had a touch phobia. Depends who's touching her, obviously. Mm. If this event goes well tonight, we'll be one step closer to that fourth star. That'll be my gold medal. Somehow I don't think it's going to go well. To somebody else. Fingers crossed, then. <laughs> Matteo, is that the Prosecco for tonight? See, I'll take outside. Oh. You're not still sulking, are you? Yes, it's unfair. 
I am senior to Liam, yet he gets to go out with the chickas while I'm here humping boxes. Mm -hmm. I can hardly let you go with them. It'd be like putting a mongoose in charge of a whole load of chickens. <laughs> at least with Liam, I know they'll stay out of trouble. Uh, yeah. Party, party, drink, 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 drink. Oh, baby, she doesn't like Liam, then. That's that, dude. Yeah. This one's called the Smurf's Cock, I think, because it's blue. Oh, <laughs> it's the best stuff I've had since I've been here. <laughs> Cheers. Funny we should bump into each other out here, isn't it? Of all the parties on all the boats in all you happen to walk into this one. Oh, I used to love Cracker Jack. Oh, yeah. Thanks for bringing a load of teenage Olympic athletes with you in all. This really helped me out. So you're not pulled then? Yeah. You're all self indulgent tosses. <laughs> Besides, it's quite hard selling yourself as a sexy playmate when your arms encased in plaster. Marks you out as being different. Most men don't want different, they want clones. Good. What about you? Good point. What do you want? I want a Nintendo 3DS when my dad keeps telling me to look at my old Nintendo and scream. <laughs> what do you want from a girl? I don't know. Someone funny. <laughs> Vivacious. Someone different. Hope Michael's alright. Wonder where he is. Fred, Judy will look after him. Are they going down the route that I think they're going down? Are they teasing a possible romantic thing between Liam and Sam? Because Sam's done nothing but bitch about Liam for pretty much the, the, you know, the last two series. So effectively for her the last two weeks. Maybe she's starting to see that he's actually not so bad after all. And maybe Natalie was wrong to reject him. you got to look past the, the nerdiness, the awkwardness, the shyness, the, uh, I don't know, autisticness, which I, you know, I, I'm, I'm still convinced that Liam is autistic. Yeah, maybe she's seen him for who he truly is. And maybe she's thinking, actually, you know, after trying to go for all these tosses and, and have a, just have a good old bit of pumping action. She actually might like something normal, nice even. Hmm. I can smell something fishy. Oh, that might be me. Dead hot under here. Oh. Let's go and have a look. I'm gasping for <clears> a <throat> bevy. Come on, Benadorm. Let's get this party started. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're on the wrong boat, love. Very different kind of boat. Do you think we may have got on the wrong boat? Is this a party? Yeah. I think it's safe to say we got on the wrong boat. <laughs> when do you go back? How many hours? Ah, dos. Oh, that's all right. We'll be back in a couple of hours. No. Dos días. Días. Two days? My mum's gonna kill me. Mm -hmm. Is there no other way to get back to Benidorm? <laughs> oh crap. Michael, row the boat for sure. What is it when, when you're talking to someone in, in another language, you just think, if I talk louder and do this with my mouth, they might understand me. Yeah, I've just had a text off Michael. What's it say? Gone fishing. <laughs> I'm having words with that, Liam, when they get back. And where's my mother? She's been gone all afternoon and all. Probably run off with Mohammed to join the telly, man. Oh, don't be ridiculous. There's no way my mother would... Oh my. Um, oh, John, is that you? Well, do us a favour and like me, Siggy, will you? What the That's hell? What do you think? Mother, what are you playing at? 
Mohammed bought it for me. It's a traditional Muslim dress. I know that, but what do you want to wear it for? Because we're getting married. What? Hold on, what? Why? Why? Like, at least Mel, you can kind of understand it. You know, it, you know similar age, you know, got a bit of companionship, but why not have it? Absolutely. The management have certainly pulled out all the stops. What a spread. Look. <clears throat> Chinese, Indian, Spanish. Oh, I don't know what to go for. Mmm. <laughs> and the food's not bad either. <laughs> Looking good, gents. Should be paid extra for this. Tell me about me. I feel a right prat dressed like this. You're all right. You look a Bobby Dazzler. Look at me. You look like a flipping snooker referee. <laughs> it's ain't the bloody gloves off. These alcoholic. Ah, oh, yeah. That's a mixture of creme de cassis. Mm. Bloody hell, she's on a mission. I oh, know. She's had a difficult day. Oh, well, you'll just make sure she doesn't get in any mischief soon. I will. Are you? Where's our Michael? I thought you were looking after him. Oh, he's here. He, he's just got up to get changed. We got separated. Well, he better not be pissed again, or I'll separate you from your boys. Technically, last time we got pissed, it was his Uncle Pete. Yeah. Oh, yes, we're hoping to have regular functions where we can attract a higher caliber clientele. Of course, being three star doesn't help. But as tonight demonstrates, we're amply able to deliver a four-star service. Y pronto habrá chicas. Sí, sí, cuatro estrellas. Come on, Carmen, grab a couple of melon balls. Ooh. What did I do? Oh, I'll take the chocolate, not the melon. Oh, dip the pineapple in it. Oh, yes. Oh, there's all leaves in mine. You see, that's why I hate drinking outside. You end up swallowing all sorts of muck. <laughs> Won't be a problem once you've converted, Madge. One sip of anything other than cordial, they'll have your hands chopped off faster than you can say Sim Salabim. <laughs> Mick. Right then, Mother. Come on, you promised us an explanation, so let's hear it. All right, I'll get your knickers in a twist. You've known him less than 48 hours. How can you have agreed to marry him? It's a marriage of convenience. As you know, Mel was doing a bit of business with Mohammed's dad. Mohammed, Mohammed. What? Oh, never mind. Well, apparently, Mel was speaking to him just before he died about buying a hacienda just outside Marrakesh. What would Mel want with a nightclub in Morocco? It's not a nightclub. Hacienda's like a big estate. Twelve acres. They agreed on a price, and Mel arranged to pay a deposit of 650,000 dirhams. Oh, I what's that improper money, a tenner? It's about 50 grand. And the money has been sitting in a high-interest account in Rabat ever since. Bloody hell. Mel didn't want to put it in his own name, because otherwise the bailiffs would have been after it. So, Mr. Mohammed suggested putting it into his son's name. Mohammed? Mohammed Mohammed. He wants to give me the money back. Only there's so many legal loopholes. We could be waiting years for them to sort it out. So we offered to marry you. Once we have the same name, he can move the money over. No questions asked. Quick divorce. And we're back in business. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's a bloody miracle. I told you something to turn up, didn't I? It sounds like a con. I don't know. It all sounds too good to be true. To yeah. Me. And what's he talking about? That's my money, you know. It's not a friggin' free for all. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, ah, thank you, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Buenas noches, senors and senoritas. This is Joyce Temple Savage welcoming you to the Gala Olympic celebration. Now, we do have for entertainment the British Olympic synchronized swimming team. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> but before that, 
because we always go for gold here at the Solana. Please welcome our very own. Oh, Mr. yes. Elliot. Go on. Tina Turner. I'm a woman. Margaret Thatcher. I'm British. I'm a public figure. Yeah. I'm not a singer. I'm not an actress. I'm not a news reader. I'm not a dancer. But I am a former prime minister. Ah! Give us a clue. I've like... established that over the past oh ninety minutes. <laughs> yes. Um. It's no use you're going to have to give me a clue. Uh, you turn if you want to. The ladies not for turning. Martini Ratnavalova. <laughs> no, you're Margaret Thatcher. Someone explain that reference to me because that doesn't make any sense to me. That went All right, Margaret Thatcher. Uh, of course, I should have asked. Did I ever wear a fuchsia two-piece with pearls and a Ferragamo coat? <laughs> Wait a minute. My second question was, do I work in the music industry? And you said no. Well, she doesn't. What? Oh, you're thinking of the other Tina Turner. The other? The other Tina Turner? Yes, I was thinking of the one that works in the co-op up with Inchoa. Oh my god! <laughs> She's a real character, is she? As are you, Noreen. As are yes, you. I should, and then perhaps I'd have a chance of guessing who she is this stupid bloody day. I think you're a little bit upset, aren't you? You think? Are what you gave it away? With your friend. I love his Tiff. None of your business. Well, we all do daft things from time to time. I remember when our Pauline rang me while I was doing me ironing. I nearly took me ear off. <laughs> but whenever I got myself into a state, Ron would say to me, Nog him, because that's what he called me. Oh, what a cute Nog nickname. There's no point you saying sorry to me until you've forgiven yourself. Remember, to err is human, to forgive divine. That's nice. To err is human, to forgive divine. That's beautiful, Noggin. Thank you. I'm gonna try and remember to call her Noggin from now on. Of course, I didn't know who this divine woman was. But I forgave her anyway. Oh, Ace. Uh, Ace has just got a couple of numbers. Then we'll be ready for your girls in about 15 minutes. All right? No, it is most certainly not all right. Look. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. They are inebriated. That is what's wrong with them. It seems the awfulish handyman you sent them out with saw fit to coerce them onto a party boat and ply them with alcohol. They can still do their aerobics, though, can't I beg your pardon? I mean, that's water dancing thingy. They've got fireworks and everything. I arrived here with six Olympic athletes and I'm leaving with a gaggle of drunkards reeking of vomit and tequila. <laughs> Welcome to Benny, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think it's the same, the same thing. In the water, another bit splash of boot. I mean, we can announce it as a Paralympic team. Oh! This one, I don't even know the difference. Oh dear, you got this deeply, deeply insulted. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Go party! It's a disaster. I'm going to be a laughing stock. Leave this to me, Pat. Might you all follow me? Kenneth! Um. Sam, what's going on? What the hell are you doing? I'm doing a 
drunk. I'm desperate. He's standing in front of me, okay? It's going to start a beautiful friendship. Um, <laughs> pull. Yeah. I pulled this. Ooh! Is that a red snapper? Hey! Her name's Trudy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that escalated so quicker hard. than I thought it would. I can't put chains in my face. Oh, and we've got some chains in our room, but they're not quite as fancy as that. I think I see Troy in the bushes. Ooh, so hey! A bit of a secret tryst, That's what I love about the gays. They'll do it anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a photo. We'll probably blew down off Gavin's balcony. Let's go up there and return it to him. See if we can't entice him down to join in the fun. Yes, good idea. Don't go away, because I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it'd be rather anywhere else. Gold. Gold. Thank you. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. That was Asa Elliott singing Gold. Um, I'm afraid there's been a slight change to the um, published schedule in that the synchronised swimming display has had to be cancelled. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. So if you'd like to make your way to the exits, which you'll find located here, here, Harry! and here. Harry! What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good! It might not be a Sir Williams, but we're gonna try for a short way. <laughs> oh, I see your dodges between your legs. Go have a chicken bastard. Ah, daily, eat your ass out. Mostra tu il mio cuore che hai acceso più dentro me la luce. Oh my God, that's my dad. <clears throat> I Love a green screen. Let's <laughs> leave them to and get back downstairs. I think what this pool party needs is a bit of skinny different. Ah! Maybe not, maybe not. There's kids there.
Oh, oh my word! That <laughs> that is one of the greatest endings to Benidorm that there has been. Like. I think one of the best ones that we had was the one at the end of series three, you know, with the whole Spanish eyes uh, song. Uh, you could argue the Christmas episode, but obviously for a very, very different reason, you know, with the with the death of Mel. Um, yeah, I mean, pe people said to me, series three, that's it. The show's crap after that, basically. That's what some people... Some people have said, you know, in fairness, it doesn't quite hit the highs of the first three series, but it's still reasonable. And then there's others who, who just go, I still love it regardless, all the way through to the end. And so far, I'm in the camp of I'm still loving it. Yes, there has been, you know, the odd one or two episodes where it's definitely felt it's like a bit of a transition. And it's like they're moving eras. Um, similarly to how you could, like, after you go from Doctor Who, you know, you got so used to a, a particular Doctor, then he regenerates and he goes into the next, next Doctor, and it might take you an episode or two to just kind of find your feet with the new Doctor to work out, you know, how they work uh, and, and their mannerisms and maybe the way with the new companion or change in dynamic with the previous companion. But you eventually get there. And this show... So far, and we're, what, I think two episodes left, I think, of Series 5. It might be one, I can't remember, I'll need to double check. But so far, the two series that we've had since Series 3, it is still, for me, as high quality as it has been up to this point. So, you know, look, if you disagree with me, then fair enough. You know, you have your personal taste. I have my personal taste. Everyone is welcome to their own personal taste and their own opinion on whether something is good or is not good or anything. But so far, I'm still loving this show and I'm going to keep continuing watching it. Uh, and I think someone else uh, put in a, in a comment as well recently that were like, like they've seen some reactors like they go to a certain point in this show, probably around about the time of series five, and then they just kind of don't watch it anymore because they listen to the people and go, oh, it doesn't get as good anymore, so I'm not really going to watch it. You know what? I'm going to be watching to the end of this show regardless. Even if it turns absolutely dog shite, I'm still going to watch it because you have to watch it in order to have a reflection. And there will be times that a show would dip in quality, but then find its feet again. I mean, you take Lost as an example, right? First two series, for me, of Lost was great. Series three, one of the worst of the show, because they just didn't know what they wanted to do with it. They didn't know what avenue to go down. Then they kind of, kind of agreed that they were going to complete the series after series six. And so from that point onwards, and this was about midway through making series three, you suddenly saw uh, an increase in the quality of the show because now they had a direction. Because they were sort of middling, they were floundering, they didn't know where they wanted to go. And because they now had an end goal, they could build up exactly how they were going to get there. And it became much tighter as a result. So, you know... Shows will have dips. Shows will will be brilliant all the way through. Some shows will be crap all the way through. But unless you give it a fair chance, you don't know how it's going to go. But those are my thoughts on Benidorm and this latest episode, Series 5, Episode 5. What are your thoughts? Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and of course, drop your comments down below. And of course... Continue watching all my other content that I have on the channel as well. Obviously, this month on the channel, there are two movie reviews. We've got the, the, the choice, uh, the community choice movie reaction, which is to Back to the Future. And of course, later on this month for Good Friday, we will have another movie reaction. And this is one that people will hopefully be uh, quite excited about and uh, if you missed it in my reaction to Back to the Future which I did two days ago on, on Saturday check it out if you missed it but um, I announced for the first time in that video 
that the movie reaction that I'm doing for Good Friday is Monty Python's Life of Brian. That is going to be so much fun to watch. And people have said that it is, you know, actually Easter related. So I thought, let's do it. Let's do it on, the, on, on Good Friday. And then, of course, on Saturday, I will be doing something which other people um, kind of have uh, told me about. Which is that there was a debate that aired on TV on this show called Friday Night, Saturday Morning. And that was apparently something that uh, it was like a couple of the guys uh, from, uh, you know, the Monty Python team. And then like two very religious people and they had a debate over the movie. And apparently it gets quite heated. So that's going to be fun to, to check out as well. And apparently that aired, um, you know, the, the, the day that the movie originally got aired. So uh, yeah, we'll be checking out various things like that over the, over the coming weeks. But loads of stuff on the channel. So don't miss a thing. If you're not already doing so, please subscribe. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you so very much for joining me once again for a reaction to Benidorm. For today, my name is Kevin, I am a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.